Same. Uh, yeah, for just, you know, heading into the season, um, you know, uh, where's the state of the defense? How do you think uh, you know, everything's coming together for you guys? Um, I'm excited. I like a lot of things that I see on tape every time I'm watching tape. Um, a lot of new calls for us all, so making sure we're all able to gel together and know exactly what we're doing formationally and, and you know, just everything within the call, we can all play fast. And I think this, what we're all really excited to do is play fast, get to the ball. How much of a change is it uh, from what y'all went, we're doing to what we're, what y'all trying to do this year? A lot of it translates because, you know, football skills are football skills. Um, they're kind of using, you know, our skill set to uh, our advantages. Uh, a lot of drops from all over the field, blitzes all over the field. So we're being versatile, like Dean says, multiple. So um, we're kind of just finding what we all do well and then meshing it all together and, and being able to play fast. Curious, what would you playing under Dean be like? What's maybe the one thing that stood out here, like, oh wow, I wasn't expecting that. I like how he keeps us all accountable. Um, when we go in there, have a, you know, a practice where we're up and down, he's going to come in and, and keep us accountable. Um, anybody can get it. Anybody can have, you know, if they messed up that play, we're going to hear about it. Um, that's really like, I re really respect that out of him because, you know, with a mind like that, he's seen a lot of successful defenses and stuff. So he comes in and says stuff. Uh, he's not really that loud of a person, but when he raises his voice, he really, he really take that to heart. So I appreciate, you know, p getting on us and stuff like that. I'm not no football historian, but I know the defense he's been a part of, so I'm excited to work under him. Um, you know, as soon as they uh, said he was going to be our D coordinator or associated with our defense, I looked him up and saw a lot of good things. So whatever he has to say, I'm definitely like a sponge and trying to take it in. He's always trying to give me, you know, advice on how to be a better Mike, better leader in the defense, and I'm trying to, you know, improve on everything he tells me. He'll actually seek out input from players like mm -hmm. what works, what doesn't work, maybe more times. He's done that with you. He's gone in and said, hey, let's maybe try this, try that. Yeah, he, he, he says that in the team meetings because, you know, he's been around obviously good defenses and good quarterbacks too. So a lot of times he'll tell his stories about how he's kind of picking up on, you know, what quarterbacks are seeing and, and stuff that worked against him. And then he'll try to, you know, find ways to kind of disguise stuff or trick the quarterbacks that he's gone against. So um, he says, if we're seeing anything, we definitely should go to him and, and let him know. And I think he's definitely a man of, her, of his word on that. Chris, you said you see certain things on film about the defense or things like that that excite you. Can you describe any of those specifics that excite you? We just able to play really fast. Um, you know, first, you know, OTA was all new to us. So kind of making sure we're all in the right spot. Um, and making sure all our fits were right, all of our drops were right. But now, when everything is right and everybody's on the same page, it's just, it looks like chaos, but it's like controlled chaos. Like everybody's kind of going from different places to do a specific job. And when we're all on the same page, it looks great on film. So I'm excited to, you know, confuse the other team and, and get to hitting this stuff. Seems like you and Michael Walker are pretty tight. How have you seen him develop? I mean, this preseason, he's had a pretty good you know, first three games. So Mike is kind of different from me where he kind of, you know, he's going to talk to whoever's ready to talk to him. Um, so we're all kind of tight as a, as a linebacker unit now. Um, but, you know, kind of this offseason, us both being in Atlanta and around each other, we've gotten tighter from this offseason and obviously from rookie year. So I'm just excited to see him keep learning from us. Um, you know, all the questions he asks, you know, he's very confident in himself, which I admire because a lot me, I'm always trying to, you know, improve. But he's like, he's very confident in what he does, but he's always tr also trying to improve on it. Um, but now he's like trying to learn from the older guys and stuff. And it's definitely, you see a, a jump in his game from, from last year to this year. So I'm excited for him to see him keep improving out there. I want to win games, really. Um, I know I can run in here. I know I can tackle. So I just want to be able to fit in this defense the way I should and then being able to make the plays where I can, you know, kind of predict what the offense is going to do. I think that really did me well last year and then kind of just keep that same confidence in myself from last year going into this year. Everything's going to be more comfortable. The game slows down and uh, get the ball. I think when you get the ball, you're kind of a better player on defense. You're going to help the offense now creating turnovers. That's really the name of the game in the NFL. So, you know, make tackles and get the ball. And I think things work out. Charles, you're on the field on defense, and you see an 84 coming in uh, in the backfield. Mm -hmm. I would think your first thought is he's there to catch the ball. Yeah. Uh, we <laughs> haven't been able to see him in the preseason, but uh, can you give us any, any thoughts on what 84 is like as a running back? You know, he's strong. Like, just because he was a receiver back in the day, he's strong, and he's fast. Uh, he'll run through a lot of arm tackles. That's what I've seen so far. So I'm excited for him to kind of uh, – I don't really know his exact running type, but like kind of a stretch and puncture 
you know, he's just a fast, big dude. So I think everybody's seen that from last year when he played with the Bears, and I'm excited to see what he can do with us. Um, how's this week for you all? Um, you know, normally y'all be getting ready to go, but it seems it's a little different this year with the, you know, extra days you get off at the end and kind of kind of a bye week in between. Nah, I don't feel like no bye week. Yeah, we're working <laughs> you're, you're out there. Working, we're working. Nah, I mean, you're doing work. But, <laughs> I mean, you're not, it's not like a regular, okay, the season get ready to start. Mm -hmm. That's going to be Monday, I think. Yeah. But just how does this just seem different to um, I just put my head down, work every day. I mean, we're still coming in here and working, so maybe the only thing different is the we're not directly in the Philly game plan right away. Um, but we're still out here working our technique, working, you know, offense versus defense. So it kind of still feels like camp a little bit, um, but, you know, with a little hint of Philly on the side. So just getting ready for the week one the same same way. What do you do? I mean, what do you, you haven't really had this weekend. You kind of have, but haven't because it's been this weekend. This week? This weekend. Like, okay. Like when you're off. Like yeah. you're fully off. You don't have to worry about it. Like, what, what do you do? Like, do you just this upcoming weekend? Yeah. Like, do you just disappear? Do you you know, everybody's going to do something different. Um, I don't really know if people are going to go out of town or whatever. We're just going to recharge and get ready for uh, a good day Monday. Um, you know, we've had a lot, especially this week. It's still, as I said, practices kind of feels like camp. So you definitely got to let, let go a little bit, let your body recharge. But I definitely still want to be on my, on my stuff for, for the plays and the playbook and uh, kind of look into Philly on my own, kind of what they did in the preseason, which I kind of already started doing, and a couple of the games that they ended last year, just making sure that I'm ready to go for Monday. Thank you.